All right, guys, welcome to another Big Mech's Workshop product review. It's October, so it's nearly Halloween, so uh, I'm sat in the dark. But one of the other reasons for that is we are reviewing this month the Owl Magnification Lamp. And I wanted to show you just how bright that is. That is very bright, uh, coming in at about a thousand lumens. So having that pointing at my face is very unpleasant. So let's cue the lights and uh, switch that off and let's cue a background and let's review this product. So where do we start while reviewing this lamp? Well, one of the first things I noticed while getting it out of the box is this is very, very long. And the reason it's got a long neck is because you might at times just want to use it simply as a lamp. Now, that makes a lot of sense. But on the other hand, that does make it very difficult when you push that down all the way back there to uh, get this in a position you want. It's about two and a half foot's worth of space from where the vice is, which it comes with a vice instead of a, a table stand or a weight on the bottom, from there to here, all the way over here, it's about two and a half feet. So if you've got a small desk, you may struggle to clamp that on. So I was kind of disappointed it didn't come with some form of weighted stand, so you could just put it on your desk if you needed to. One of the other things I noticed about the framework is um, because it was new and out of the box, it still has quite a bit of spring to it. And on occasion, it's been flipping back up. Now, I will put that down to the fact that it's new and out of the box and the, and the spring in there is uh, really sturdy. But what, what I thought was uh, there's an Allen key place here. So you can probably tighten these up with an Allen key to stop it moving so easily. But I thought they would have put a little dial on it like the... Uh, did at the top here so we can position anything and just tighten that with a little screw and that's that's pretty sturdy let's pop that back down there a sec it is made of very very durable materials um, so a nice steel frame nice solid plastic and uh, as we work our way towards reviewing the lamp itself. So as you can see, it's got a dust protector for the magnifying glass there. You don't want to build up lots of um, dust. And even if you do get dust build up on it and clean it off, it is scratch and heat resistant, this magnifying glass and uh, the materials as well. Uh, so they are extremely durable. We have a uh, switch on the underneath of the lamp here as well as your switch on the main wall. So you can leave it plugged in and an adapter and uh, switch it on and off here. Just for easy access more than anything. So the lamp has a five inch diameter lens with a uh, nine inch vocal range, a uh, focal range, sorry. Uh, which is pretty decent for this magnifying glass. And as you've seen how bright that is, um, yeah, it really makes anything you've got in front of it light up really nice. You can see everything. And it magnifies at 175% of normal size. So you can really get into some nice detail work there. If you're into the uh, painting hobby, you can paint the uh, heads, eyeballs, stuff like that. That's always useful to do. Or some people, you know, if you struggle just seeing those things in general, this magnification uh, will be spot on for that. Now let's have a talk about the light itself because the light is very very bright that's a thousand lumens i will put up some references up in this uh, top corner here so you can figure out what those are coming in at six thousand kelvin and that is natural daylight so instead of like an energy saver has your yellow tones to it or a artificial light can occasionally have a blue tone to it this light itself as i've checked it out is as close to natural daylight as you can possibly get so you're not gonna if you're painting you're not gonna tint the colour at all and you're going to be able to see exactly what uh, what it is you're painting and the exact colour which if anyone into the hobby is painting under one light, light and then gone outside the colour slightly different this should be very accurate daylight and apparently the LEDs in here will last for 50,000 hours which I'm not surprised with LEDs they do last a long time it's also apparently guaranteed that it will uh, not overheat or fade so if, if that's true, that is a very good quality um, light for the uh, price, which we'll get to towards the end of the video. 
when it comes to a power source from this lamp it is a three prong plug for the UK appliances and it's a 12 watt plug also the LEDs themselves are a 12 watt energy saving so it shouldn't chew up a lot of power either which is also good to know seeing as anyone into any hobby or using something like this is usually using it for a very long period of time there's only a few things left to check out now for this lamp and that besides the price and where to get one is the magnifying glass itself and the vise at the bottom so I've gone in the other room now so I can show you the uh, clamp uh, it's just a basic clamp it uh, does move very nicely it's easy to rotate and uh, it's got a little bit of give there which is uh, useful and this part here is just where the bottom of the lamp pops in so I've already set that up uh, once I've fastened this on it should be nice and sturdy without any problems just a few turns with that key and uh, that's on there nice and solid which is very useful as the lamps actually quite heavy itself then we're just gonna pop the lamp in the top of there and that's that done um, obviously from this position you can rotate it around uh, it's quite easy going you don't need to put much force in there and what I'm gonna try and do in a second is a uh, show you the magnification now what I found was this was very very difficult to do on uh, camera um, the human eye picks it up a lot better than the camera does all I could think of doing was a uh, pulling that out and then putting it in front of the in front of the lights but you can see here how the lights are they're, they're spot on for lighting up the entire area you can see every little detail of that model but, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to run through doing this and obviously as I uh, pull the item closer to the magnifying glass it, it gets smaller but there's a perfect spot over that 9 inches of a focal view where uh, the model gets a lot bigger and it's just trying to catch that on camera is very very difficult for you guys so I just gave it a go mucking about with these uh, just trying to pull it to one side so you can see the size and scale but uh, the, the camera just doesn't adapt like the human eye does I can tell you though um, it does magnify things extremely well and I would be quite happy to use that plus the lighting hits every area of that model and uh, makes the painting would be absolutely easy with this so at this point we've had a really good look at the lamp uh, I've had time to muck about with it, we've had a look at the specifications, the brightness, we've had a look at the magnification, or we've at least tried to, I apologise, I couldn't really get that well on camera, but um, yeah, all in all, it is a pretty tidy lamp, now it's an Amazon exclusive, and the links will be in the description if you want one of these, and it retails at about £50, now I'm going to take that £50 in, into consideration when uh, actually rating this, as a hobby item and me and Andy had a discussion about it Andy's already stolen the lamp that's why it's not here it's going on his desk um, so it is a good lamp um, we did we, we teeter in between do we give it 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 now the downside really for us is it doesn't have a, a stand for it so it can just sit on a desk and the next just for our size desks is a little bit long Besides that, there is nothing wrong with the quality. The quality is superb. Uh, the magnification's great. The lighting, if it does last that long, um, if the lights do last that long, then you know, zero point zero point three pence per hour's worth of light usage. Uh, so, for fifty thousand hours worth of light, you get your money's worth. So, teetering between the eight and nine. So we're going to give it, we're going to give it eight and a half squigs out of ten because there's a few a few downsides to it uh, mainly if, if you've got a small workshop it may be a bit of a pain for you to set up and that's basically it i mean i completely love the magnification on it and the detail the light hits whatever you're holding superbly so you can see everything so all in all it is a really good product uh, links in the description for this one and again thank you for the guys who sent me to it to do the review on the, that's awesome and thank you for the lamp as well uh, I'm sure we'll be putting it to very good use. 
And that's all for this review, guys. Uh, we do appreciate you watching. If you like these reviews or you want to see us actually paint something, then uh, check out the rest of